Hello students, in this video we'll discuss discrete and continuous, term insurance, deferred insurance, and endowment insurance. So we consider a future lifetime random variable. Tx. And then it's a curtate version and kx. And what we'll do is we'll consider the random variable, the random variable z, which is new to the kx plus 1 if kx is strictly less than n and new and zero if kx is bigger than or equal to n is an n year is the expected this is the present value of one dollar paid at the time end of year of death before age n. And the expected value of this random variable, if we take the expected value of this, this will be a x 1 n, and this is the expected present value of one dollar paid at the end of year of death up to n years, and this is the term insurance present value. What we can also do is we can consider something, and for continuous, what will happen is we can just put a bar over this, and this kx plus 1 is replaced with tx, so that's what happens for continuous. And so now what we can do is we can also consider what happens with an endowment insurance. So this is term. So here's n year term insurance. And what we can do is we can consider this random variable z which is zero if kx is less than n, and new to the n if kx is bigger than or equal to n. So this will pay one dollar if the lifetime survives to age n. And so this present value, the expected value of this random variable over here, this is an endowment, a pure endowment insurance. So e of z for this will be a x n one. And so this is called a pure endowment. So if you survive to age n, if x survives to age n, then what happens is you get a payment of one dollar. This is a present, expected present value of a, of a pure endowment insurance. If we combine a term policy with a pure endowment policy, so combining plus endowment, we get something called endowment insurance. And so what will the present value for endowment insurance be? Well, for endowment insurance, you'll have a random variable z, which is new to the tx, the kx for a curtate. So for curtate functions, we get a kx over here. kx plus 1 if kx is less than n, and new to the n if kx is bigger than or equal to n. And so for this random variable over here, the expected value of z is a x n with no 1 over either of them, but we can see that this present value is exactly equal to a x 1, the term insurance policy, plus the pure endowment policy, which is AX and with a 1 over here. And some other notation for this is the following. So we have this other notation that this is sometimes written as EXN. And what we can say from this is that this is exactly this EXN is new to the power N and then P x and the probability that x survives to age n. So oftentimes we'll just avoid this notation entirely and just say this endowment insurance is equal to term insurance ax1n plus 
$1 payment, new to the n, provided that the person age x survives to time n. So this is a pure endowment insurance. And what we can do is we can note, so just a remark about pure endowment insurance. So pure endowments have the same expected present value for either discrete or continuous. Thank you very much.